All right, YouTubers, you know, uh, it's nice to recycle things and actually fix things on your own. If you can save $40, $50 an hour in an hour, hey, go for it. Do what you can. Uh, I'm saving the step letter, and what we're doing here is, um, let me show you what happened first. I don't know how old this thing is, but you can see it's come apart here. Got a big old gap. I did put a couple of rivets right here temporarily. We got a crack running along the top of it here and the whole back side here is the same way big crack going through here and when you step on this thing it would bow down it was about ready to break so i decided you know what i'm gonna buy another one but i want to look at the prices of some of these things they're like 40 and 50 dollars now so i figured you know what maybe i can just fix this and that's what we're doing and uh, you can see i got the corner here started Cut that off. And I got this piece here cut off, and I got this one here. This is sort of a doubler. Now, I had some aircraft aluminum. I just couldn't bend it at the right angle, like this is here. And actually, once I got this, was this was actually a 90 degree angle, but actually, I just kind of pushed it in, took my hammer and tapped on it, made it even. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. And you're asking, what am I using? Well, <laughs> This old chair I was going to throw away, it's rotted, not safe to set in. You can see it's coming apart. And I got to looking at this thing, and wouldn't you know, looky there. We got our angle that we need, and it's aluminum. So I drilled out a couple of holes here, took a couple of these pieces out. These rivets, they look like aluminum. I'm pretty sure they are. And I drilled them out, and... Uh, I got one over here I can use on this side. Of course, I had to take my snips and kind of cut the ends off and measure it and everything. But how cool is that, you know? So I've got some holes here made. I'm going to run my first holes here and put my rivets in. I'm going to go on this side and we'll throw some holes here and rivets in there. And that'll hold that really good. So sometimes you can just fix things if you think about it. So um, I got all my rivets here. I have probably... I don't know, five or six boxes of rivets. I'm using these little 1 8 by 5 16 rivets in a drill bit, and boom, I'm just kind of saving things because I've been painting and I didn't want to have to spend any more money because things are pretty expensive right now. And uh, if I could save this ladder, this will buy probably another gallon of paint or two. So, go ahead and get this. All right, so. That's going to work out pretty good. I'll have to do the bottom, but I'll turn it on its side to do that. And let's see, is that all the way in? Yep, it's all the way in. And let's see if we can get this one in here. There we go. Now, I wouldn't advise to do this on a big step ladder, but if the brakes aren't too bad, you can probably repair a step ladder, uh, a big tall one. But this one here is only about two and a half feet high. It's not very high. It's only two steps. All right, so we got that. I'm going to lay this on the side. We'll drill some holes here. And we'll put those rivets in there. And just by doing this, this thing is already so much more stiffer. So let me go ahead and do that. All right, let's get a couple more holes in here. Do this with one hand, hopefully. key is to go real slow with the bit. Don't just jam it in there. You'll break your bit and you'll be upset. So we got that one there. I'll move these vice grips, but they're kind of holding that. I got a couple big holes here I'm not going to worry about. Now I do have some bigger holes here, but some of these bigger rivets that I have, uh, especially in this here, that would probably fit. This little rivet gun here does not break these off very well. I thought about trying to put one in there, but I can't. I, I kind of got to watch because this here, this piece here moves a little bit, so I don't want a rivet sticking in behind here. But that small one there will be just fine. So we'll go ahead and finish this up here. I'd like to have a couple big rivets here, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. But these should hold just fine.
so there wasn't too bad all right so we're moving right along here stick that in there like that finish up these other ones here i think i can do this one there we go that one and one more to go right here hey let me know where you're watching from right now how about that yeah that's gonna work out great so we'll do the other side here and we'll call this job just about done so uh, yeah you can see on the inside here uh, how bad that is there <laughs> that's why we're gonna do that side next but you can see the rivets are nice and clean no problems and nothing's gonna be hitting so let's go ahead and do the other side yes they call me mr. cheapo that should be a song let's take these old ones out of here plan comes together all right maybe there's some more pieces there I could use on another project I'll just keep it put it in the basement hey you never know all right so here's that piece up there we kind of got it sitting there mark it here we'll kind of snip it there cut it off a little bit doesn't have to be perfect and then go ahead and figure out where we're gonna kind of drill holes at just cut here, right about there. Let's do that with two hands. Alright, there we go. Alright, so what I'll do, there's a little rivet sticking up there. I'll trim this piece off there. Trim that up a little bit. Kind of get it centered. And go from there. Kind of snip it like I did there and right there. All right, so this is ready to put on. I put a little dimple there and one on that side to kind of go over this bump. And I made a couple of marks here so I know where it's cracked, so I know where to put my rivets and my holes. And that should work out pretty good. Actually, right about there is where we want something like that. And like that. So let me drill some holes here, and that's going to be so much more sturdy. It's going to last forever. All right, going pretty good. So, one more here to do on this side. Get down there. There we go. So, would, guys, would you do something like this? I think this is going to work out really good. So, a couple more here, here. Make it nice and sturdy. So, that's going to be so much better than it was before. So, uh, let me finish up. All right, guys, we're down. We're down to the nitty gritty. Nitty gritty, wasn't that a rock and roll band? The nitty gritty dirt band or something? I don't know. Well, one more to go. I'm glad I did this because I did the other ladder the same way about six months ago. I didn't do a video on it, but I wanted to do a video on this one and show you how to fix it. So let's take this off. Look at that. That ain't going nowhere. Yay! Bring ya. Do 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 poopy do boo. Hey, it ain't perfect, but you know what? We'll get a lot more use out of this. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you do, give it a thumbs up and say hi. Alright, we'll let that dry. <laughs>